everybody. Thank you for joining us today. We're glad to see you. We're excited to cook up some yummy Eggs Benedict on National Eggs Benedict Day. We have a little twist on the traditional today. Well, we decided in honor of National Eggs Benedict Day today to uh, honor a couple things. The Eggs Benedict and the return of our smoked black cod. Um, we're going to do it with a little bit of a Asian flair. So it'll be an Asian hollandaise sauce, which is going to blow your mind. <laughs> I've never been a fan of traditional hollandaise sauce. I don't know. It's maybe it's the lemon in it. So I did a little experimenting with this one and instead of lemon juice, which you usually put in, I use this delicious sriracha balsamic from our wonderful friends at Olivelli. Um, just to give it a little bit of an Asian flair. And then at the end, I incorporate a bit of cocoa aminos into the hollandaise. You could use soy sauce if you don't have coconut aminos. And if you don't have the sriracha balsamic, you can go ahead and do the lemon juice, but add a little bit of sriracha too, and a little hint of sugar in there as well. Right, it turns out great. Uh, yeah. Great consistency, great color. Um, here's kind of a, a quick example what we're going to be doing today we have it on a bed of spinach with some red pepper and then sprinkled on top with some cilantro well originally we make cilantro or use cilantro but i'm living it gets unpredictable so we we had to use some parsley today <laughs> we we work with what we have up here in sitka alaska no worries no so. worries as long as we have the smoked black cod, that's the most important thing. <laughs> right, yeah, that's the exciting part about right now is uh, the season started last last month and we have fresh, sustainable, hook and line, black cod coming in. It's just amazing quality, delicious, and we were able to make up a batch here a couple days ago and uh, have it featured today. Yeah, so be sure to hop online at www com and order yours today. If you order today, we will ship it out early in the morning Tuesday and you'll have it on your doorstep by Wednesday. So you can enjoy the Eggs Benedict with Asian Hollandaise sauce and smoked black cod in your own kitchen. And what a perfect day today. Um, definitely a sign of spring. We have sunshine, we have the birds, um, and we decided It'd be a good way to do a brunch today. Yeah. Um, me and my wife, we kind of held off, we fed the kids, decided it'd be a good time to do a little demonstration and then enjoy it later. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and kind of walk, walk you through it. We went ahead and made the hollandaise sauce in advance. Um, it's pretty straightforward and I was pretty nervous. I've never made a hollandaise sauce before. Um, tried it a few weeks ago and it was actually really easy. Um, the directions on the website at catchsicktoseafoods.com uh, kind of takes you step by step and uh, you're able to kind of modify it to your taste. If you want a little thicker, add a little bit more oil. If you want a little thinner, add some water um, and then lemon to taste like my wife uh, Mindy said earlier. Um, it should come out something like this, a nice yellow drizzly consistency. And so we're gonna go ahead and start. Um, I already have some water going here with about a, ta a teaspoon of uh, just regular. Uh, white vinegar. White vinegar, yeah. right. And what you wanna do, the key to this is, and my wife found out the other day, is you bring it to a boil and you bring it right back down to where there's a little bubble coming up every once in a while. Um, and that'll be the perfect temperature. Um, just kind of watch it and then how we're going to start is here's a little trick for you also if you have a little colander colander here um, you're going to want to crack your egg in it and then kind of let the liquidy white part of the egg go strain out of it and then you want to put it in a bowl and that way when you're making your eggs benedict or your egg sorry um, 
you don't have all those wispies and it looks nice and and uh, round like it's supposed to. Assam has been the designated egg poacher of the family. I did attempt it, like he said, a couple of days ago. The girls were begging for a poached egg for lunch. <laughs> And I didn't turn my water down enough, and I definitely failed big time. So <laughs> it was funny. I got home, and she's like, "I just couldn't figure it out. What'd you do? Did you do this?" Did I said, "Well, you just this, this. Oh, that, I told my water was boiling." And <laughs> was, yeah, so you heat it to boiling first, add in your vinegar, and then reduce it just to barely a simmer. Mm -hmm. And then a lot of um, on our site, and a lot of people will tell you. You know, if you're doing one egg at a time, definitely get that swirling vortex, get the vortex going. Yeah. Um, we're going to show you how you can do it multiple eggs at a time without using the vortex. So you could actually do up to four. We're right. going to do two this time. So you want to go ahead and get started with that? Yeah. The most important part too is remember, you got to put vinegar in there and that'll kind of bring the egg together and not let all those wispies get all over the water. Um, so I have a few eggs here. I'm going to go ahead and crack them into my little colander. And if you don't happen to have a little colander, you can use any kind of colander. Just make sure it's a, a fine mesh. It's a strainer, he means. <laughs> strainer? Yeah. Col Isn't that the same thing? Similar, yeah. Similar. I'm going to go ahead and you can see the, the runny white stuff is going to run out. I'm just kind of give it a little wiggle. Then I'm going to grab one of these bowls that I have here and just gently put it in there and put that to the side i'm going to do one more and i already have my water to the temperature that i'm looking for um i've got a few bubbles going i'm going to crack one more you can see i added a a backup egg in there in case i broke a yolk <laughs> <laughs> you can never be too careful you can never be too careful just give it a little bit of straining here and then put it in here all right so I'm gonna set this aside. So we have our water going, it's the right temperature, and we're gonna do two at a time. So I don't need to do a vortex. Um, I'm just gonna get my bowls really close to the water and just gently drop them in. Um, after I drop them in, there's one. Oh, that looks beautiful. Here's another one. I'm gonna take a slotted spoon and just kinda Form it a little bit, push it onto itself very gently, and you can see it kind of starting to form, getting nice, nice form. I'm gonna set my timer here that I have real quick. And if you want a runnier consistency, go a little less time. If you want a little more firm consistency, um, go 30 seconds either direction. We're gonna go three minutes. I'm gonna start that, and that's perfect there. Um, on our website, I say to go four minutes, and that's for like a, a nice, even texture of the yolk. Right. Three will give a nice runny texture, which our girls prefer. So I'm going to check my eggs here. They're looking really good. I'm going to kind of just very gently, sometimes they'll stick to the bottom of the pan. Um, and so you want to kind of just move them around a little bit very gently. And then just just let them do its thing. While but, it's doing that, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and, and prepare my my plate here. So we have a little bit of uh, pre-washed spinach. You can use whatever greens you like. We like spinach here at our house. You can also use toast or an English muffin if right, you want to yeah. go a little bit more traditional. We like to build uh, little nests of spinach. And then the other important here. thing with the poached eggs to have available is a nice oiled, like lightly oiled plate oh, right, that you yeah. can place the eggs onto. Um, if you're making multiples and you're not just putting them Here's directly plate. onto your nests. So if you're preparing all your eggs first and then building your nests, you want that oiled plate. Makes it much easier on the transfer. And then we like peppers here. We're pepper fanatics. Our, our girls, I think you can buy the whole state out of peppers. <laughs> um, we kind of just cut them into rings so yeah. that when I, I'm going to put the, the smoked black pot around it, it'll kind of make a nice little uh, organic bowl, if you want to say. Um, so I went ahead. This is what the black pot will look like when you get it from us. Um, it'll be nice and frozen or cool, but it's already... Uh, 
it's already uh, been smoked and cured, so you can put it in the freezer, you can put it in the fridge, um, use it when you're ready. But I already have some here that I pre-flaked. Um, a little kind of tip, when you take the skin off of it, you're gonna see some of uh, the gray matter on the bottom. That's the fat from the fish. Um, if you like an earthier taste, keep it. If you don't, scrape it off. Um, it's, it's kind of a personal preference. One girl, one of our little daughters love it. The other one doesn't. And so we kind of go either way. For myself, I prefer to remove it. It's just a stronger flavor. Mm -hmm. um, and that goes for any of our of the fish. Salmon, it, salmon ling cod, halibut. Ling cod, halibut. The, the dark gray that's between the flesh and the skin, that's where the fat is. And the fat is the strongest flavor on the fish. So. If you don't like a fishy fish, take that fat off. <laughs> right. Yeah. Also, if you're you know watching your your fats, not that the fat in the fish is anything to be concerned about. However, because it is omega threes, right, which are really good for your heart and brain health. Oh god, that's so oh, it's delicious. That's beautiful. Black cod is also really high in um, vitamin D, which is really important for us up here in Sitka. In the winter months especially, right. we get very little sun. Beautiful. Oh, that's perfect. You can hear Timer's our timer. Up. I'm going to go ahead and turn that off. And here's a little key. When you're taking your egg out, have a paper towel handy because you're going to bring some water with it and you don't want to bring that onto your um, final dish here. So I'm going to pull this guy out and I'm just going to set my my spoon on here, let it drain a little bit. I'm just gonna nest it right in here. Watch out, they're slippery. Ooh, that's a good one. Beautiful. And I'm gonna grab one more, nice and gentle. And I'm just gonna let it drain just for a second. Watch out, it's hot. I'm gonna nest this one in here also. That guy looks like it's gonna fall. <laughs> There we go. Those are good nests. Yeah. So now I'm just gonna take the hollandaise sauce that we made earlier, give it a little mix. And you can use a lot or a little, depending on your, your flavor or your palate. And just kind of drizzle it on there. So when you're making your hollandaise, I made this this morning in our Vitamix blender. Any blender will work, though you crack uh, four eggs and separate the yolks from the white, add the yolks to your blender, add a half a teaspoon of salt and two teaspoons of warm water and set that blender on low and get it spinning to where you can see the eggs are starting to change color to a little bit of a lighter color. A little salt and pepper. At that moment, you're going to add in either your sriracha balsamic or your half teaspoon sriracha and one tablespoon of lemon juice. Keep it going. And then put your oil in a- A few drops at the beginning. Yeah, a measuring cup. And you're going to just put just one little drop at a time as you start and then gradually build up to a thin stream and that will emulsify into the egg mixture and create the thicker hollandaise sauce. When you're done with that, you're gonna add a bit of cocoa aminos or soy sauce to your taste. And then you're ready to use it on your eggs benedict. Um, we're not gonna put the sriracha that we recommend placing on top <laughs> on, on these today because they are going to be going straight to our girls after we're done with the live. And they're not fans of the heat yet, eventually. Yeah, they're building up to it. Yeah, But you can see how, how Pretty simple this is, and it's super delicious. Um, yeah, I know these, if I break these open, they'd be amazing, but my daughters would be really upset at me because that's, <laughs> that's what they love to do, is watch it goo and ooze everywhere. Um, but that's pretty much it. Uh, thanks for joining us, guys. Uh, I wanted to let you know that King Salmon pre-orders are open. Um, so we're expecting uh, some fish middle of May, and delivery should be the end of May to the beginning of June. Um, fresh wild line cut, hook and line, king salmon out here in our beautiful oceans, cold water of Sitka, Alaska. So head on over to our website, catchsitkaseafoods.com. 
Check us out for more tips, techniques, and recipes that we have on there. Read our blogs, read about how we do things up here. Uh, and thanks for joining us. Yeah, we have some great recipes on our recipe blog. We have a cooking guide that will detail how to cook each species that we sell. So you'll be cooking like the pros in no time. Um, yeah, and king salmon, our kings are caught at the height of their nutrition and flavor content in the open ocean. They're not river run kings. You won't find these anywhere else. So we really encourage you to pre-order those now so that you can get your box as soon as they arrive on our dock. And then smoked salmon and smoked black cod is available for purchase now on the website. Thank you for joining us and we can't wait till our next one. Thanks guys. Have a great day. Bye. Enjoy the sunshine up here and the beautiful day. I'm gonna come and <laughs> turn this off now. Somehow. It's alright, I'll just stand here. <laughs>